everybody feel back on the video on my channel going for a spec cast Oliver in this video 116 scale an Oliver 990 starting off with the box here the back you got a picture of the tractor the replica as well as on the end here same pictures it's got some stuff on the end of the box the Oliver 990 tractor was available in agricultural and industrial versions. The 990 delivered a maximum pull at 12.629 pounds at the drawbar. The 990 was built with a GM three-cylinder two-cycle diesel engine. In the 990 tractor, the engine was governed at 1,800 RPM. That's on this end of the box. got the uh it's actually a foam insert in there to hold the tractor on a plastic shell so that's pretty cool all right let's uh move on to the star of the show the oliver 990 let's do that now here it is folks the spec cast 116 scale oliver 990 pretty cool little replica here this came out uh, produced by Speccast in 2007. That's the date on the bottom of this box anyway. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, so this is 14 years old. The real tractor, the Oliver 990, was produced between 1958 and 61. It was 84 PTO horsepower. So I'm, I'm imagining back in that time, a lot of farmers would use this tractor because that's a fairly powerful tractor for that day and age I would think so it's pretty cool this is a nice detailed replica here to say the least um, especially for its age 2007 it's got some nice stuff going on nice area back here with the uh, hitch and everything it swivels Looks like you might have a hydraulic hookup possibly right here your seat on the back says Oliver nice rounded fenders there for the 990 lights on the fenders on the fender here that's an insert of course lights on the front of the fenders as well pretty sharp the operator station there is pretty fairly detailed i'd say like i said this is a 2007 edition speccast does a really good well job with the detailing there's nice details there's uh levers up here on the steering wheel like it's got a steering knob a little steering knob that's pretty cool some levers over here on the right hand side underneath the steering wheel the dashboard is uh gauges or not a uh, decal they are inserts there's levers here foot pedals down below pretty nice in that whole driver's station area steering wheel is black see is predominantly black with the white oliver white trim um it's pretty cool that seat Pretty, pretty classic looking tractor here. Nice little intricacies everywhere. Of course, you got your Oliver Meadow Green paint and your Clover White. It's classic. Clover White on the wheels and the trim of the seat. Long 990 hood. Really cool. Flat lines. Love it. Um, that dark Oliver uh, Meadow Green on there looks nice. Uh, Two breather intakes coming out of the hood toward the front of the hood and then midway of the hood got a silver uh, muffler sticking up there engine details on this tractor are pretty good <laughs> pretty impressive i'd say for spec cast really does an excellent job with the uh, engine component detail on these uh, models they put out very impressed i am with them anyway they do a really nice job your decaling got an oval a long oval up here near the driver station it says Oliver in a white stripe to the end where it has the model number 990 and I believe it says diesel underneath of that it's pretty sharp the uh, underneath of the tractor has some pretty decent little details under there throughout it's not too bad got your classic 990 grill there 
this Oliver at the very, very top, and then your uh, horizontal bar, uh, uh, clover white bars running up and down the grill. It's pretty cool. The wheels, or the tires on the tractor, four rounds. They are rubber. Pretty nice little uh, wheel uh, tires in this tractor front and back. Cool, cool looking tread on there. The wheel on the rear looks really good. Deep inset outer rim, the clover white, of course. The inner looks like they're that is a uh, weight to me on there. That's pretty neat. Front wheel, the center, taller wheel. Front tires, I should say. Thinner, taller, three uh, three rib tire looks pretty nice, and then the wheel on the front. Nice details on it as well with some bolt patterns and the outer slots on the outer of the rim. Cap in the middle looks doesn't look too bad. Pretty nice little tractor. Pretty neat. I never thought I'd get into these smaller horsepower tractors. They're really old ones back into the 50s, but. I've started to collect a few of them here and there, so, uh, and this was one of them. It's pretty nice. Really neat replica here of a classic tractor. I don't know I've ever seen one of these actually working. I'm, I've probably seen them at some shows, some antique shows, but I don't know that I've ever seen actually one of these working in a field. Even in my youth, in the 70s, I don't remember seeing any of these, but, uh, they are neat to see at a show when they're all restored and stuff. Pretty sharp. All right, everybody, I'll bring that camera closer for a quick look. I want to thank everybody that tunes into my channel. This is Phil. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.